Cheers, everybody. We are back for another edition of Bourbon on a Budget. It's review time again. And as we told you guys on the main episode, we are reviewing Smoke Wagon Small Batch. Brendan, this Hello. is your bottle. We're actually all drinking out of the bottle of yours. I'm going to show um, you guys this bottle. Talk to us what? about... Talk to us about... It's beautiful. It's, yeah, what it a great really, looking bottle. Yeah, a talk really to cool us about, bottle. Talk to us about it. All right. Does someone want to like... Who wants to paint a picture of how, how cool this bottle looks? Like, this is exquisite. Um, I guess I'll do it since I'm holding the bottle. So it's like a wine-shaped bottle, but it's got, like, it looks like roses kind of grown up from it. So it's a lot of cool detail and intricacy. And then in the middle, there's, like, a wax. It almost looks like a medallion, but it's, like, a waxed uh, smoke wagon. Uh, it's got two pistols there, and it says, Bibimus Mortarendum Est. So it's something in Latin. What? I should have looked that up beforehand. <laughs> um, so Smoke Wagon Small Batch is a straight bourbon. It is 100 proof. It is from the Nevada H&C Distilling Company. Uh, but the distillery, uh, it's believed to be MGP juice. It says distilled in Indiana. Pretty safe bet. So this is a uh, this is not distilled in-house, or at least not 100%. So there's MGP juice involved. Uh, but... We're going to find out it's actually considered a pretty special bourbon. At least a lot of people really like it. It is aged four to five years. Mash bill is believed to be 60% corn, 36% rye, and 4% barley. So a high rye mash bill. MSRP on it is going to be about $45. You can find it a lot of places uh, online in that price. Uh, I've seen it at $100 as well online. Uh, available in some states, not others. And TJ, you, you have a little bit of information on the pricing that I think our listeners might be interested in. So as we kind of talk to you, about on the main show, price can vary based on what market you're getting something in. We touched on that a little bit last night with Sazerac Rye. This isn't readily available everywhere. It's true MSRP is $45. You can find it on their website, um, which they didn't pay us. So you just have to Google that. But I would tell you what it is. And they'll ship it to you. Obviously, you have to pay for shipping. And they won't go to certain states. But if you're in Florida, like the three of us, they will get it out to you. Um, secondary, this can go all the way up to like 80, 90, 100 bucks. So um, hundred might be a little high. Yeah. Somewhere in that range, 80 to hundred, depending on how, how and where you're doing it. So, um, but if you can find it, which you often can at certain places, Georgia, North Carolina, different spots there, $45 is a good price for this. Um, which I believe I haven't looked through everything that minus the Irish, um, the Irish review that we did and the Elijah Craig toasted barrel. This is the most expensive thing we've ever reviewed. Um, mm. believe so, it could be yes, but this is still kind of budgety if you can get it for 45, no, 45, 45, yeah, if you get it for is 45 not, bucks. It's not bad. I feel like that's not, not a terrible price. So, all right, I am going to go first this week. I never go first on nose, but I'm so glad to not be congested anymore and be over whatever sickness I had to where I actually can nose a bourbon, uh, this oh. week. And so oh, real man, quick, we'll real we'll quick, I, I need to interrupt TJ here because I was listening to our last week's episode while TJ was sick. Uh, we did the Zasarak <coughs> Rye, which is now. Number one on the bourbon big board. Yes. There yes. were about three instances in which TJ was on the fence and he gassed up his score. I think the fix was in from the beginning that he wanted the rye on top. He was like, oh, I don't know whether I want this to be a 0.25 or 0.5. I always got rounded up. Well, I'll say this. Defend yourself. If you go back and look at all of our ratings, I'm mm -hmm. consistently higher than you guys sure. most of the time. Yeah. And so you guys' scores were all rounded up from your normal scores too. So it kind of makes sense that mine would be a little bit higher than yours. You know, but you guys had a 7.5. It, it could just eight. be that it's a better bourbon or better rye. You know, that's why the scores are rounded up, you know, could also be that. Yeah. With a, good product, else. with a good product, you're going to round things up, right? We're not down. So Brendan, you Sorry. tried to get Ben to turn against me and it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> <got here. laughs> you right guys stick together. Sure enough. You rye about that. So the nose on this is a ton of sweetness on the front. Um, oh, oh, my man. gosh. So much vanilla and caramel on the very front of it. Mm -hmm. As you continue to nose it, you do get a little bit of spice that comes on the backside. I'm getting a little bit of a floral note on it as well. Nothing crazy, but I'm just smelling everything now that my no my nasal passages have opened back up since last week. Um, Brendan, go ahead. It is a exquisite beautiful nose uh even with the visual or i don't know if it's a visual i guess but your nose uh don't need all that um vanilla for sure man i'm with you there caramel's got uh, a lot of 
sweet flavors to it. Uh, the spice I'm getting is cinnamon uh, and between like that and the like vanilla and some brown sugar, very much like, like donut, like cinnamon covered donut vibes, like kind of the dry ones uh, that you get like a Dunkin' Donuts, uh, not my favorite donut, but, but in terms of like what it's making me think of that uh, a little bit of like fruit flavors too, apple, like red apple, a uh, lemon zest as well. There's a ton going on. This is a really, really pretty nose. Uh, ben, what, what are you, what are you picking up there? Yeah, I completely agree. Um, I get a lot of the 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 more delicate flavors, the like you said, the red apple, the green apple, the citrus. Not a ton of like deep caramel or like chocolate. It's it's very like light, delicate, but definitely a, a lot of vanilla, a lot of uh, caramel. I'm surprised at the mash bill that it's not like a little bit spicier on the nose, like it, with like over 35% rye. Um, but I'm interested to see where that goes with, with the palate. Last two weeks in a row, and I've done this more on the rating scale, but the last two weeks in a row I've said, you know what? Ben always goes first. So, Brendan, you take this one. I've used that joke two weeks in a row if you guys have listened back. Uh, I figured that out last night when I was doing some editing. So, anyway, Ben, you always go first, so keep it going. Uh, what do you think about the taste on this thing? Yeah, I really enjoy the taste too. Uh, I'm going to pour myself a little more right here. But – uh, Damn, I, I is that a first? Has, have we ever done like a double pour? Because I'm doing double the same pour thing. on the. I, I just poured all mine in the glass. Oh yeah, I just knew, that, yeah, I, just knew yeah. I was finishing it. Yeah, so good. Um, again, I, I I get a lot of the brighter notes, um, a little more on the delicate side, which I'm enjoying. It drinks really light for um, we're, at, we're at 100 proof on this, right, Brendan? Correct, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so at 100 proof, this is really easy to approach. I would I would definitely be drinking this. You know, eat early in the night, let your palate get used to, you know, a little bit of higher proof. And this is, this is really nice. Brendan. I am getting a ton of caramel on this, uh, on the, on the flavor profile here, like a ton. Uh, and it's really, and usually I'm not a huge fan of that note, but it works really well with this. Uh, also got like a little bit of like wood spice too, uh, leathery almost with so some darker notes too, but it is delicate as well. Getting zest, um, more like an orangey kind of vibe here. So there's a ton going on uh, on the palate as well. It's really, really pleasant. Like Ben said, at 100 proof, it drinks uh, fairly easily. I almost used smooth there. I did not. Uh, but it's got a little bit of a, of a bite to it too, but not in an unpleasant way. It all just works together very well. One thing before I throw it back to you, TJ, I forgot to say when I was doing the specs there, uh, this is distilled, believed to be in MGP. The aging process, I think it varies in different, like there's some rumors that it's done like a lot in Indiana there's others that it's like in Nevada for a good chunk of it but uh, what apparently makes this special and different is if it is aged in the Nevada climate which in, in a desertish kind of area really cold nights really hot days uh, leads to a faster aging process in in theory yeah it kind of makes sense whereas in the Midwest you're having those longer periods of hot and cold so yeah I can buy that I don't know if it's true or not but I'll buy it I've it sounds been, it sounds good, right? Halfway through a good drink right now, so whatever. Um, yeah, no, taste is really good. A lot of caramel. There's some good spice that comes in on the back end. It's at a hundred proof. It drinks a little lower than that. I really, you know, I know you guys are um, absolute uh, proof hounds, um, and you know Ben just wants anything he can get that's 150 or more proof. But I like that this is a little bit more approachable. I think this is a little bit more approachable for somebody that. Um, isn't up to like the massive proofs of things just yet. Just can't go the cask strength or anything else, but it's a good, it's a good mix of like what you normally get into at 90 ish proof. And then your massive stuff at like 110, 120. It's a good kind of mix between the two. A um, little higher than their straight, a little lower than their uncut unfiltered. Right. So, uh, but taste is really good. It's a really cohesive, really complex. We'll obviously get Spoiler alert. Those things later. Um, but the complexity is, is massive too. Like Brendan said, there's a lot going on with the nose, a lot going on with the taste. And I uh, I don't have very much left and I don't have any more left to pour. So I'm a little sad with, with how little I have left. Um, finish, Ben. Go ahead. Take your mic off mute and then finish. Um, Amateur hour then, over here. Jesus. Yeah, I'm, we're not editing that. <laughs> anyway, so finish. It's been really consistent with, uh, with nose and palate. Uh, it, is really heavily in the vanilla, heavily in the note and the oak and uh, a little bit of spice, some leather on the back end. Um, 
But, you know, who doesn't like some leather on the back end? So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. Ben, I did not see that one coming. That was very hey, uh, Overall, though, I mean, this is just an amped up version of uh, like an, an OG bourbon. Like it's it hits all the right notes, but does it in a really straightforward way. That's a little bit elevated to, to what we've been currently or at least historically been drinking. So it's good to kind of step up in quality, step up in price, but it's good. Brendan. Uh, very similar notes to Ben, so I don't have a whole lot to add to it. You get the oakiness, vanilla, uh, caramel again uh, on the back end. A nice amount of spice as well. Um, got a good burn to it. I would add there, those delicate notes that you guys keep referencing are there on the finish as well. There's a little bit of like zestiness, refreshing almost in a way. Um, so, yeah, mm. there, there's it's a really pleasant finish. I like it a lot. I agree. Let's keep it moving. I don't want to add a lot of... Um, Play by play when you guys have covered it all. So let's rate it. Um, ben, again, we, we've said this the last two weeks, but I've said that you always go first, and so I give it to Brendan, and so I'll go first here. Uh, I think this nose is pretty on par with uh, some of the better ones that we've had. Yeah. Uh, it's, I don't know. I wish that Sazerac was here. I mean, I should have just grabbed it so I could nose it against this. But man, I, the only two things we've given a 1.75 across the board Sazerac Rye and um, Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel and Snows is yeah. really, really good. Pretty I good. don't know if it's quite as good as those. I'm going 1.5. Brendan. Ooh. Also, <laughs> I got called out. I got called out by my co-host for apparently leaning heavy on certain things. Yeah, so. lean heavy on rise, and you just cheated a bourbon because this is at least a 1.75. I'm going between this being a an elite nose to a truly elite perfect nose. Uh, it's close. I don't think I can quite give it to two because I know there's some better noses out there. But damn, it's close. 1.75 for me, and I'm tempted to round up, but I will not. Ben. Yeah, I think Brendan's got it here. Uh, 175. It is warm, rich, not super complex, but it hits all the right notes on the nose. 175. Well, it hits all the right notes. Notes. Uh, taste, taste, Vince. Make it back. Ooh, good choice. Um, taste. Picking you. To review yeah, this. that was that was the only that was the only thing that made sense in con contextually. Yeah. I think ben. I think this deserves. I would say this deserves probably at least a three. This is a great, this is a great taste. Easily, so I'm going to stay. Easily. I'm going to stay at three. I'm going to stay at three with this one. Brendan, I was going between a three point two five and a three point five since I went Woo! down yeah. a little bit on one point seven. You are like. Oh. This is amazing. This is a extremely pleasant, drinkable whiskey, but with complexity and nuance. It is it goes between spicy and smooth. It's three point five for me. It's really, really good. Man, that is a that's a high taste. I, I gotta look real quick while while we're on this, and I, I don't even care that we're gonna like take a minute to do it, but. I don't see anything. So, like, Has there ever had a higher taste from anybody? Three point ever. ever? Ben, ben and I had three point two five on the double rye. Yeah. Um, three on Wild Turkey one hundred one. Three on Russell Reserve. We've never had a three point five on a taste. Mm. Okay. Um, this is better than Wild Turkey one hundred one's taste. Now, granted, we were doing the we weren't doing the point two five. We were on the point yep. five. Mm -hmm. Then, but even like Old Forester 100, I think we had started to change a little bit. And I gave that a three. TJ, you gave it a three. Ben, a 2.75. I mean, this is an easy tier above that to me. It's it's really, really, really good. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree. I uh, My highest have been 3.25. I, I'm going three here. Brendan, you almost convinced me to go with a 3.25, but I'm going three. I'm not going – all the way up, but this is uh, this is stacking up to be a pretty heavy hitter. We'll snake it back. We'll just keep going this way. I'll go with the finish. This is a really good finish too. Like this, this is a really great product. I mean, I feel like there's usually a, a pretty big drop off with a lot of things. I'm giving this a 0.75 on the finish. Like I, I'm not going to call it elite. I, you know, it's not the full one. Very rarely does the full one get given on this show. Um, in fact, the only time in the last two months that it's been given was me by the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Um, we gave the Red Breast 
a one. And then the only other time we've given anything a one on the finish is Brendan with the Russell Reserve tenure. So a little bit of history. 0.75 is a really good finishing score. Brendan, I know that you're a big fan of this. Let's go. One. Oh, Woo! man. He's trying to spike the ranking. Homer, what a homer. He was so he upset wants, that Sazerac got first last uh, week. And he, now wants he's rewrite, all... he wants to make Ashley rewrite that board, I can tell. Yeah, I nice. had to do that. I do not want this to be first place, actually. Zero, zero. <laughs> no, the finish is, oh man, it's so balanced. It is, again, all the different things going on in the finish, which normally, like, let me say, like, last week with the Zaz, and that was great, but, like, the finish and the drop-off yeah. was so quick with that one compared to everything else, this holds up to the nose, to the mid palate, uh, the, the taste in general. Got a little bit of a bird. Most importantly, guys, it makes me want to go back for another sip. I mean, this is two pours in, and I could probably go for a third one. It's like candy. The finish is a big reason why. This is an elite finish to me. I'm out, so I'm sad about it. Poor guy. Rip. Rip. Ben, finish. I don't disagree here with Brendan's commentary. Just – on score so i think we're certainly at an upper echelon we, we've moved up in tier on this and so i want to be right at that 175 or the 0.75 mark is it perfect no is it great yes so 0.75 no oh, you're muted now tj i'm the only one who hasn't muted himself like an idiot yeah. Co Co cohesion and complexity ben um, 0.75 again. It is strong. It is a strong contender. What? So I think above I, average well, definitely. I'm gonna, it's great. I'm very passionate about. It's this. very cohesive. It's very cohesive throughout it's the not entire. It's not fully. Com it's not complex enough for you. I would. It's yeah, complex. I would say it's it's a lot of vanilla, a lot of oak, a lot of caramel throughout the entire you know entire experience, which isn't bad, right? But, but then it teases you with like red apple, and green apple, and zest. I'm not going to try to convince yeah, you and change it yeah. for you. It's clearly you a one sent, for me, If guys. you would have sent a bigger sample, I would have had more time to <laughs> dive into complexity a little more. So Wait till I send you the uncut, unfiltered, buddy. <laughs> I don't think you are going to fall in love. Cannot yeah. wait. Um, I, one, one for me. Sorry. One. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with a one as well. The only thing that Ben has ever given a one for cohesive – this in, compl in complexity. Anyone want to guess it? Brendan, don't look. Oh, nope. God, I was going to start pulling up. Um, I was going to go the double rye is what I would guess. Nope. Off, off ben, you really? want to guess what it was? I feel like it's going to be something that you guys are going to rag me on. That's but so funny, we, 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 both, we go, we, we both TJ both and I go with ones all the time for those, I know. right? For me, it's an all or nothing thing most of the time. It, I will. We won't rag you for it. Well, I think yeah. it was wild turkey if I was going to No, it wasn't. Shoot. It was the red breast cast drink. <laughs> oh, there you <laughs> the go. The only thing he's ever given a one. Uh, I got a one as well. That was like an $80, $70 bottle, right? You know, An $80 Irish whiskey. So he's anyway. That's like a $20 bourbon. Right. <laughs> 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 so I've got this at a 6.25 out of eight. Ben has this at a 6.25 out of eight. That's and strong. Brendan has it at a 7.25 <laughs> out of 8. If Jeez, we what a even, homer. If we didn't even give it value scores, it would almost make the board. Like it would almost make the board without even getting any points for value. Again, a little hard to find. We're talking $45, 100 yeah. proof. But you could order it right now off of their website. Have to pay shipping, so it's going to make it a little bit more than $45 because of the shipping cost. Yeah. But... You have to go drive to the store. You, you pay gas and wear and tear in your car, too. So time is money. Um, $45, hard to find, 100 proof. Ben, let's make Brendan go last on this because we already know he's getting like a six on his uh, two points here. Yeah, ben, what, you, what is your value here? Jeez. Okay. Um, if you can find this for $45 in your store and you pick it up, I don't – I don't see how it's not like a one and a half, one seven five. Like it is a great bottle for forty five bucks. The problem is, I don't think you're going to find it for that. I think you're going to find it for like sixty, sixty bucks, reasonably, you know, available. And so that would knock down to like one and a half, one and a quarter. So I'm thinking one and a half seems about right to me, just for feasibility. 
I like it. You took a lot longer to get to where exactly where I wanted to be. I, I, again, if you it, to me, if you can get this in your store at all times, I think forty five dollars is a great price for a hundred proof. Yeah, um, buy it. Police and complex. It would get two points for me if you could get it at forty five all the time. Knocking it down to a one point five because of the fact that you can't. Um, Brendan, tell us why uh, why we're wrong on this. All right, so I'm looking through our previous scores. Mm -hmm. This is the highest pre-value score that I've, I've ever had, and the high other well, yeah, no, that I've ever had, and that Ben has ever had, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. TJ has Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel higher than this. He's got Zazerac Rye higher than this. I think he's got one more higher than this. Uh, he's all over the place. TJ's such a point four. <laughs> But uh, uh, just to state, like this is really hard for rating, me. We're not rating my cohesiveness. We're rating the bourbons, all right? Talk about you know, taking uh, longer to get to the same place. Jeez. I know, I know, I know. I'm mean, more just going it. I just think it's interesting that this is by far like the highest one for me. And Ben edged out, I think, one of his previous ones as well with a 6.25. And it's pretty high for TJ, too. Uh, I'm going to 1.5 it. Uh, I'm with you guys. <laughs> it's wow, amazing. Really it's hard for me. Sure, no, I for sure I, he was geez. going high on this. That was about it is 10 minutes hard of... to find. Uh, you can order online, but then it gets jacked up to about sixty dollars. This is a sixty dollar yeah. bourbon. Would I get this over like uh, the nineteen twenty? Which is, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would like to try them head to head, um, but I think 10? that mm, yeah. that's fifty bucks, fifty five. Yeah. yeah, I mean, rare breed is forty five. Uh, I mean, if you find EH Taylor, it's usually going to be about fifty. Um, but yeah, this is excellent. It's going to be my highest score ever by far. I wish, and I can't find it in Florida at all. Which is yeah, they didn't even they didn't come to Florida. Um, but I gassed it up enough, guys. I think I did it. I think yeah, I gassed yeah. it up enough to where I'm going to have to erase everything. Damn it. Brendan gave this a full 8.75. Legitimately. 8.75. Holy crap. That's insane. That's really it's high. Like, taste. That's tier. Taste laughed ha lacked half a point. Nose lacked a quarter of the point. And uh, value half a point as well for him. Ben and I both at 7.75. Our average 8.08. Uh, and then. Oh, Three repeating, so eight point yeah. oh eight. It's a good so bottle. It's really brand good bottle. new number one. Yeah, it for it. I mean, it's hard to find, but it's great. Yeah, forty five bucks. Man, if you can get it for that, you could find it on different sites. Ben, uh, Brendan, you've gotten a couple off right Seal Box. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, and I'm part of their like VIP program where you get free shipping and you have to pay a hundred dollars a year. Right. But that pays oh, for oh, well, yeah. There, that's your, <laughs> but shipping also, yeah. there. It's like they're, uh, well, but you know, when you're buying like 10 bottles a year through them, uh, it's $10. It's $55. There you All go. right. Well, I mean, <laughs> it seems fair. And that's assuming that I'm not like fudging the numbers that I, and I'm not buying like 20. Yeah. Years. Yeah. My, my wife might be listening in the other room. So, our highest score ever, I think we would all agree that if you can find this, great, get it. Um, no qualms there. Um, good for a new person. Yeah. I, so. I, I think well, part of the a turkey 101 wasn't, but I think you've evolved in your tastes. <laughs> well, I, this is got I think this is great for a new person. It's I think I think for anyone this is exceptional. Low, low, it's like high, high vanilla, high caramel, low like pepper, that kind of spice. It gives you opportunity to spend a little bit more on a bottle than you would usually at a thirty to you know twenty five to thirty dollar price point. This easily beats the pants off. Basil at the same price point, mm -hmm. right? So this thing crushes basil, in my opinion. And a really cool bottle, like potential like infinity bottle, uh, oh. possibly, uh, or Bottle's at least gorgeous. one that you're ha happy to put out. And yeah. I, I was thinking about this the other day, guys, for like an episode of the future. Like, what's a bottle you would miss when you're out of it? And one that makes it kind of hard to replace, but not impossible. But like, this is one that I have out all the time. And this would be the one I would pick because I would legitimately miss this uh, if I didn't have a replacement yeah. lined up coming up. So. Oh, so great. we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Bourbon on a budget on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitter. Twitter's almost up to a thousand followers. So go Ooh. hit our Twitter account and let's build Ooh. that up to a thousand. Instagram's getting close ish to 500. Facebook's kind of a slow grind. So we'll keep that going and all the old people can enjoy our content over there. Thank you guys for hanging out. Myself, TJ Pinger, Brandon Sinone, and Ben Cock. This is Bourbon on a Budget. We'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.